Hey guys, Brian the Inspector. Got another video for you in the series Ask an Inspector. And this video is called, Why do I need an expansion tank on my water heater? I get that question a lot. Basically, there are two types of water supply systems in homes. You have a well and you have a city system. So well is, you know, privately, you know, most of the time they're private, sometimes you have shared wells but you have a well that's been drilled into the ground, the water supplied from the ground from an aquifer, um, sometimes there's shallow wells, those are still in some areas, but the water's in the ground, you put a pipe down there, you put a pump down there, you pump it out of the ground, it, it belongs to you, you own it, you don't have to pay for the water, whatever happens with it, happens with it. The other systems they have are the city systems, you know, you're on a, you're on a distribution grid, you're, kind of, you're getting it from some municipal source. Okay, most areas require water heaters to have an expansion tank or there are other similar devices but the most prevalent one, the most common one you're going to see is expansion tanks. They require those devices to be installed when your water system is a closed loop. What that means is closed loop is where the water is coming in from the street or from a main and there's a check valve installed that allows directional flow, one-way flow. So the water flows into the house, but is not allowed to flow back out to the main. It doesn't allow backflow. Okay. The reason for that is when you have a water heater on a closed loop system, when water heats up, heat becomes pressure. So if you have a closed loop and you have that water heating up, that heat is becoming pressure, it's got nowhere to go in that system. It puts pressure on the piping, it puts pressure on the um, unions, joints, fittings, it puts pressure on the fixtures, and that could be bad over time. That could wear your system out. It could cause issues, leaks, problems down the road that you don't want. The purpose of the expansion tank is to allow that pressure somewhere to go. It gives it a small area to expand into. Air is compressible, water not so much. So there's this expansion tank that's full of air. So as the water heats up, it pushes into that air. That air can compress. It gives it a place to go. It's also a method of preventing backflow. Um, it, you know, it eliminates water hammer. If you guys know what that is, when you're in an old house or an old building and you turn the faucet on and you hear the pipes shaking and rattling in the walls, that's sometimes water hammer because there's all that pressure in the system and there's nowhere for it to go. It gets trapped. All righty. New water heaters should have an expansion tank on them. In the past couple years, a lot of areas have been requiring them on closed loop systems. The older water heaters that are existing now, if they were put in several years ago before the expansion tank requirement came to pass, I would recommend having an, a plumber look at those to see is it, is it worth retrofitting with an expansion tank if you're gonna get several more years out of it. Or is it old enough, you should just scrap the whole thing, buy something new and modern and put an expansion tank on it when you put the new one in. That's something that your plumber's gonna have to figure out for you. But that's a question we ask quite often, why do we need an expansion tank? What is an expansion tank? What does that do? I hope I've kind of explained a little bit for you. It, it can get very technical, but I've tried to give you the Reader's Digest version, the short side of it. When in doubt, consult a plumbing professional. You know, there, there are so many intricacies and little rules and, and loopholes and regs that, you know, inspectors can't be expected to know all of them. I do my best to try to stay up to date on it, but rules change all the time and sometimes we don't get the memo. But uh, basically, when in doubt, consult a professional. All right, Brian the Inspector signing off. Take care, guys.